Do you think the Phoenix weapon is a frequency weapon? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a scientist. I don't know much about frequency. I just know what I read from the historical record, the effects people had. Uh, I remember one account that I read that's in my notes, and I need to add it to uh, my Phoenix Phenomenon notes for 1764. Uh, uh, an incident in the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, it was in the Caribbean islands again. And uh, a horn blast was heard from the sky. Uh, some ship captains had got really nervous and they, just, they went ahead and, and called to port and had their crews come in. This was an age of piracy. This was an age where, where people were stealing uh, cargoes for different nationalities, where this was, this was uh, terror on the high seas. Well, a criminal port completely vanished. It was a criminal port. It, it was widely known. The English were always trying to catch catch these pirates that are operating out of this port, but this port was protected by other Euro European powers that were using it as a refuge. So they couldn't just go in there and cannonade, it, cannonade the place. They had to catch these pirates out there on the high seas because the other European fortresses, it would have been an act of war for the, for these, for the English to go do that. But the English did rule the high seas at the time. They just, could, just couldn't sail into any port without getting, getting themselves getting cannonaded, cannonaded or whatever it's called, bombarded. Anyway, I have the notes on it. I need to pull it out. But they had a very bad end because when that sound came from the sky, that whole port town vanished. It just, people watched each other and they just sank into the ground. And this is a really bad lot. These are a whole bunch of pirates and criminals and, and smugglers and all that. So uh, that's, a, that's a very interesting incident. And, and, and you have to understand when it comes to the Phoenix phenomenon, how many civilizations met their end that we don't know? There were no survivors. There was no media back then. There was no way for people to convey the information other than word of mouth. And word of and even word of mouth by two or three generations is going to stop the brother. People get eaten by sharks. People, you know, people drown. It's a uh, information is not conveyed through antiquity the way we convey it today. It's not wasn't so readily available. So for me to be able to amass enough data to show 22 different isolated incidents where that were all 138 years apart, not dated by me, but providing source material showing how they derived their dates is phenomenal. Because the Phoenix has appeared in this in this period 45 times. But of those 45 times, we have 22 records. We have 22 instances backed up by over 200 records. That's that's phenomenal. It's it's it's, it's almost unbelievable. So, uh, it's still it's still a matter of study. It's still something that we 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 need to study. I would like to start a think tank. I would like some scientists to get together. I would provide all my all my data, all my research. That I mean, anybody can chase my source materials, watch my videos, listen to listen to what books I, I mentioned, or read Chronicon or buy my published books and you'll see all the source materials I read by which I derived this data. So, I mean, they might be studying it. Uh, they might be studying it anyway and just uh, paying attention to my YouTube channel to see if I release any new gems. Who knows? I don't know. And I, I really don't care. But the uh, Phoenix Phenomenon, the only reason I really care is, you know, it's like 990 weeks left in the future, some of my months. I don't know. It's, what is it? Uh, you know what? Let's just look. Let's just look. Ha! There it is right there. I have a countdown. Look at that. I got a countdown to the next Phoenix phenomenon. It's going to be in 19 years, 228 months as of now, today. Uh, it's 993 weeks from now. 6,951 days till May 16th, 2040. It's a lot. It's crazy. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. It's not like it's going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen 10 years from now. But a lot must occur before it does happen. And that was the subject of my other video on the apocalypse. You know, to get ready for some tumultuous times. I mean, not, not for everybody. I mean, it never is for everybody. There is never an apocalypse all over the world at the same time. It just doesn't happen that way.